Hey guys, what is going on? It's 30 HD today, and today I'm going to be bringing you an honest review of the Control Freaks because there are loads of videos on it, and basically everyone that does a video on it is sponsored by Control Freaks. So I feel that their reviews aren't as truthful as they say they are or claim for them to be. So, let's get into this. I will be showing you gameplay of me playing with them and obviously me without them but I will make sure before I do that that I'm used to playing with them and then when I'm taking them off because you've obviously got to get used to playing without I'll just show you the difference and trust me there's a big difference um, but as you can see they obviously look nice on your controller my controller is a bit bust up but hey ho um, these are the Black Ops 3 edition ones, so they are quite nice. Um, you can get loads of different um, colours. These are the um, high ones, you can get lower ones. Um, but for first person um, shooters like Call of Duty and just games like that, um, I actually believe them um, to be quite good. But when you do first put them on, you have to get used to them, otherwise you will not... Um, like, you'll just perform badly. For the first maybe one or two games, you'll perform badly because you're just adjusting to that kind of movement because it's a lot higher up as if I took it off. Um, it's quite low down. Um, but as you can see, there is a big difference. They claim that the higher up um, like your analog stick is, so it's easier to move with just a little bit of like movement from your finger. So as you can see, that moved quite fast, but if I went like that, it doesn't move that much. Um, also, I don't know, you can get the um, short ones, but I would get the longer ones about that size. Because um, the ones that are kind of, it's just basically, um, if you took away the black bit off of this, but you moved it up into the orange um, like oh, bit of the controller, okay. that's how short the other one is. Um, but these ones, for me, they work well, um, but also there's another thing where you can get um, triggers to put onto these things, um, which do work quite well, um, because they come out to about down here, and you can just kind of move the finger a little bit, and because um, it's got a longer extension, you don't have to put as much, apply as much um, pressure on it, so it can move quicker. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you a gameplay quickly of me um, using these bad boys and we'll just see um, what you think to be honest. I'm just going to leave it up to you to say, see what you think. Um, obviously I'm not sp sponsoring, I haven't been sponsored in this video nor do I want to. Um, but yeah, I do think this is a good product. Um, but see the difference um, by my two gameplays and I'll leave them um, to I'll basically leave them up for about 30 40 seconds uh, side by side so you can see the difference and I'll label them and everything like that so I hope you did enjoy this um, honest review um, if you did leave that like button um, leave that like button um, a couple likes um, <laughs> I don't expect a lot of likes, but it would be nice. Um, also, do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, see you in the future, guys. Peace. There's no escaping death. Enforcer kill. Hostile UAV above. Redwalks neutralized. Red
neutralized leader to take you out. A janitor would suffice. Seraf down. Works neutralized. Cell systems online. Couldn't see, couldn't move it. There's no substitute for the thrill of the kill. It wouldn't require a cleaner to take you out. A janitor would suffice. <laughs> 